Our cultural heritage, as bequeathed to us by our forebears, gives us a sense of identity as we express these cultures in our food, in our music, in our dances, in our fashion, and in everything that makes us who we are. But whatever we do with this heritage, we determine its survival or its extinction. Are we going to pass down this cultural heritage our forebears have given to us down to the next generation, or are we going to let it perish with us? Well, for me, I've made it a point of duty to ensure that I share this cultural heritage with you and with everyone who cares to listen. In every country I visit, I pay a visit to the museums, which are microcosms of the society, to explore, learn, and share the cultural heritage of the people I visit with you. It's against this backdrop that I'm standing today right in front of the National Museum of Cameroon here in Yaoundé, Central Africa. Well, some people argue that it's West Africa, but today I'm going in there to learn about the cultures of the people of Cameroon and to share that with you. So if you are interested in preserving and passing down our cultures and our histories as Africans, you are welcome to this channel. My name is Virtue Grace. If you are coming by for the first time and, you are not, and you've not subscribed, kindly click on that subscribe button and tap on the bell, okay? And if you are returning, thank you for always coming back. I love you guys so much, okay? If you are not following me on Instagram, head over at Virtual Grace and follow me because I have behind the scenes there as well. Now that you've subscribed and followed me on Instagram, come let's go to the museum. This is the enography. Enography is an anthropological word, so using anthropology just to say a lifestyle of a people. Mm. So here we are in the core of the lifestyle of the people of the forest region. Okay. We start from the beautiful lady. Yes. What you see, they call it otu. Otu. That is tattoo. Tattoo. Mm -hmm. And how do you see the lady? She's beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. That is one of the purpose of that tattoo. For oh, beautification. Yes. Another one, identification. Mm. Because if, let me say, you two, you are from the same village, you don't, need, you don't even know yourself. Go by you, you, don't, you don't even need to say, hey, you are from where? You just look. Let me see. It's OK. You just call my sister. Mm. Oh, you are welcome. And then, can you see the heart, the idea of accessory? Yes. Can you imagine? Accessories. They know you can comb your hair. Mm -hmm. Although some people will claim that you leave, you leave your hair because there was no comb now. Nah. But see comb. They have comb, yes. You you, you, they know how you can draw me your hair like a lady. See, these are bangles. Yes, these are necklaces. Necklaces. Well so they know so many things. So. The white man just borrowed from us and go exactly. and exactly just go now and modify it. Yeah, or two tattoos. They were doing they, their own nang. They are doing a witchcraft, but in those days they have their reason of doing that. Beauty and very clear and reason. Because my grandmother can remember Even when my, he had my grandmother. Yes, yeah, she was too light yellow. Mm. It became green. Yes. I can still remember. I said, "Big mommy, child." Is it green now green or is it white now white? So I was always having problems with my great great grandmother because it's not even my grandmother, my great great. And then this clay, this is how we do it in the traditional way. The model when I have a machine, you need to mix, the machine will mix everything for you. And this So time, we had baby carriers yeah, before then. Yes. We now use the skin of animal, very strong. This is how you carry a baby. Your baby is protected by your sides. You don't joke with your baby. As you are running around with your baby. Mm. So that is how you carry a baby. Here. Yes. That's how you See? carry a baby. We are the original people of the world. <laughs> <laughs> but that is true now. We are the origin. That is why there was a scramble for Africa. Yes. They discovered that without Africa, they cannot live. How did it not be the scram scramble for Europe? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. See, cane walks. Cane, yeah. Bam. You know, bam. 
Yes. Cassava leaves and palm nut. Yes. This is a mortar for them. Pani, pap, pap, pap. So that people eat them alone. They already had the idea of spoon, dishing spoon, tablespoons. They had the idea. Yeah. They will prepare food. Africans are solidarity. Yeah. They share. Yes. They don't eat alone. Yeah. You come to my house, you mean me, I'm eating. I don't need to tell you, please sit there, let me finish to eat. No. Mm -hmm. You join. I say, please. Join me. You came well. Sit here. Yeah, Take your eat. own. So this is it. They'll put a bowl, the food in this big bowl. There are other small bowls that individual will use. Mm. All made out of wood. Yes. Everybody, you have your own spoon. So you cannot tell me that a white man came with the idea of spoon. Uh -huh. How were we eating pepper soup? This is a dance here, the Ozola dance. Mommy and Marie is here. The costume, this is the mm. kind of costume he was putting on. Even a, 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 um, I, see, I see the dupe. He shot all this a wonder dance. Mm. He put it and he put whole year right to a dance. And they call this dance Ozola dance. Ozola dance. And if you want to visit this enography you know, museum, you go to Eligasono. Carrefour Eligasono, you are going okay. to Swa, you see them. And these are the various things you go there. They have their traditional kitchen. Mm. You eat this, they are fresh fish that you don't remove from water, wow. the kumba, all those things that they are preparing. It's a festival that used to take place in the banks of River Wuri. Okay. Yes, the Ngondo. The Ngondo people, they are the sour people. Here, every year, they go communicate with their gods. This is the end of year. Mm. Want to know the next year. What will happen? Yes. What is our fate? So they will incarnate a man with that basket. Mm. They send into the river. Wow. The man will go there and fetch the message. What surprises people is that the man will call the message dry, like if, <laughs> as if they posted it. Okay. And then there is a message, the eldest person in the community is removing to read that equally. Mm. It's removing it to read now, you will read to the public. Like this year, they were talking of Musango. Musango. Peace, go before, peace in Douala. The other year was light. So they, every year it's a, a team that they, they will come out with it. And it will be fulfilled before the end of the year. So that is it. You see Gandora for the men? The, this, this should be from the north. No. Oh, wow. Sahel. Sahel. Mm -hmm. OK, Sahel, yes. Because it's similar to um, uh, northern, northern Nigeria. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We have the Buba. Mm. This other one, this is a weaving. Can you see this is a material that the northwest took and they, put the, they dye it in dope. Mm. Can you see it's from them? And these are their war regalians, mm -hmm. what the world fight for. Nang is end up. Togo. Mm. And this one is a quarter head, it's put on Togo. Mm. Traditional masquerade. This is from the Sawa, Sanja, white shirt, and then with your uh, Eska. Kaba, Southwest, Littoral. There's a secret behind this Kaba. Okay. When the missionary visited Cameroon, let me say Douala, okay. Afriseka, Joseph Mary, okay. when they came there, they were preaching their gospel. Mm -hmm. And we met, everybody was interested, every Cameroonian women. By then, we have some of our dresses, so people they will put up. You just cover this your part and yeah. your breast, that's women. But then that, the men, that was traditional. Yes. So when the wives of the missionaries saw this, they said, hey, so we'll leave our men and they will go. These yeah. African women that are beautiful like this, they will take our oh, men. Man. So when they go back to their country, they try to make free wear. Since they do not yeah. take your major men, free wear can fit anybody. Then when they come to you, they will say, cover yourself. Take and cover yourself, take and cover. So the, the literal women, they don't even know English, they don't know, hey, I'm a donekaba. Do you want to go say, hey, kaba? Mm. Hey, mape na hey, kaba. So all the nang, they understand that the people are saying kaba, mm. kaba, kaba. When they say take and cover yourself, so they say take, um, I'm a donate, don't. So that name became kaba, kaba, kaba. It originated until it became a traditional word for the Sawa people. So it's from a missionary's wife. So. And then okay. the men now are putting, you can put that one or this one, okay. Sanja, and mm. then this one. 
Mostly this one will share the culture with Nigeria. Yes, I was about to say it from the Cross River mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's the, similar. The, the, the Igbos. Uh, Igbos, mm -hmm. Cross River. Yeah. Even the uh, Ebio Bio. Ebio, uh, that mm -hmm. is in the Cross River yeah, quite yes, side. Ebio. So this one is Albop. It's from the farm that people will see their traditional way. Mm -hmm. Back of a tree, they peel it. They use a traditional machine to remove the hard skin. They dry it, they sew it in their tr traditional way. Mm -hmm. And then these are palm fronds. They arrange palm it to, then they wear it. So they call this dressing the obop. This is a donation okay. from the Egyptian ambassador to the National Museum. Okay. This is a goddess and a god. That is a goddess, god of harvest. God of fertility. Mm. They are brothers and sisters, and at the same time, they desire to be husband and wife. Mm. And that is, it's no problem, that is a culture. Mm. <laughs> and I have the foot of Isidore. Isidore was a man in Egypt with the largest food. If you want to buy a piece of land, you call Isidore, Isidore will measure so that you gain. You have much yes, land. land. <laughs> and then from this foot of Isidore, that is where you have the measurement of food, 10 feet, Five feet, oh. 20 feet, six okay. feet from it. Because they were using but food. You said he was from where? Egypt. 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 All this horse is from okay. Egypt. Egypt. Imagine someone's leg that long. Wow. We are in different horses. Hey. Now the 10 regions are being presented here through their horses, hmm. traditional horses. If you go to any of this area, you must see one of these horses in their interior because they are still there. It's culture. So now, every hut you see is from the 10 region, no more cultural zones. Each region is presented here. So you can see the different huts. And the, the huts, you see them, like these ones, they were people who ran away from a war. So when they discovered their new site, they decided to build little stones to say, okay, now come and face us, so that you get us again. If you come in the night, you shoot this building, to the stones will not penetrate, will sleep in peace. So you can see. And since they already have water, you know, there are people that really struggle for water. They have wars. See the distances are coming from the car water. That is a well there. Various communities. And there are weavers, you see this? This man is weaving. They are, the women, they have their calabashes that they carry, they could take milk from the cows. You see cows all over. In short, all over uh, uh, Sahel, if you see cow, 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 you see, that is the main farming, the main activity, the red cows. And these are the bororos. They build their own houses with lighter materials because they move from place to place, the Rangana course. So, so solidarity, the mozugum. They build the mozugum like this, in the night, you climb, you close it, because okay. it's too cold. Mm -hmm. Then in the morning, you have to climb again, open it for air to come mm -hmm. in. They show their solidarity. They put their water outside. You don't need to knock their house to ask for drinking water. The pot that you see there, a clay pot. Mm -hmm. They wait and then they pound. These are the phobies. They're out with their lamidos and they're they are discussing. Northwest, the phone, the wives are in front. The two buildings beside the phone, they are the bodyguards. There's a common man in the Northwest. Just build your house with your stones. I am more sorry. That is to show nobody can sleep, you sleep outside because there's even the least person. Mm. You don't go and look for your mud. Yeah. You form your own, you can make your own small thing. Mm. But for some, this is the West region. Bafusam. The West region. 
You can yeah. see. Mm. That's people a don't like pick onion. They like pick too much. And this is a fun. This is a fun in the middle and the chindas. Because in tradition, the number nine, they call the number nine matured number. <clears throat> Sorry, if you come from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a mature person, just like a lady will be, will be nine months before you give birth to a child. The number nine in tradition is maturity. maturity. When they see with ties will come, they will not touch their house. And they are fisher people. The men who go fishing, the women are there to dry it. The normal sour man, the landscape, they are just there. So everybody in Africa, you can have your house. Nobody sleeps outside. Exactly. Yes. Not in Europe. If you don't have house rent, you, you sleep streets. in somebody's car or PM. Yaounde, they build the houses with mud, hmm. tashes, and then it's a game they play. They call it the songo. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. They play it. They are palm wine drinkers. You see palm tree behind them. Ah, I would like this community. <laughs> And this is how their women dress. Yeah, this is that uh, uh, dancing outfit. You put your waist, you decorate your waist to seduce men. Because if a woman is dancing, no man will look at your face. Yeah. They're only looking at yeah, your waist. Your hands, you can make your hands anywhere. Nobody will look at it. Mm, you don't make your waist like this. You hear, <laughs> 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 oh, hunting. Why the women will stay in the environment to build houses? So these houses are being built by women. women. Yes, why the men will go hunting. And they use leaves. Leaves and sticks. If you go there, Betwa, you see. Hmm. And the houses are larger than this. Uh, because they, you can see about 10 people in one house. Hmm. Ah, African culture. It's beautiful, sure. One just to show how cultures are not separated from another cultures. We are culture, my culture, no one is superior, no one is inferior. So the one just to explain to us how can we be connected through culture, to show love to your brother through culture. Because if I love you, I will not call you your name, I will say my sister. That is what culture one. So everything you see here, is the one just to tell us how we are connected. Like this man, the man is trying to explain through his exhibition. Mm. You can see some cultural features, the things that you see in the, this our dressing up, you can see. Mm. We used to have these stars, yeah. these kind of features. Mm. So he's just to try, he's trying to tell us how cultures intertwine. Yeah, you can use culture in everywhere, the love of culture. This is a book. Okay. It's from an artist, Max Nyonga, from uh, Boya. He tried to explain to us that in this book, he just want to show us love, the love of mankind. He gave us three stages. He said, father, mother, a child, father, mother. What you parent, you teach a child, is what the child will expose in the community. The main idea here is that if there were rules, if the government can make a rule, or there was rule in a forest that they would tell you, don't cut a tree. If you fell a tree, this is what will happen to you. We will not destroy trees in the farm. Because if there was a law that if you cut this tree, this tree, maybe the tree, this, this law will affect you. For example, they say if you thief, you steal, they will catch you and take you and go and lock you. But now in the forest, you just enter. You, you cut, cut trees as you like. You don't even care. You use tree for wood. All this is work for tree. You use tree for, for, for everything because there is no law. There is freedom to just enter the forest. And it, it was telling us the forest is a good thing. And that is why we cannot, we cannot more enjoy the forest. Because really, if you want to see a forest, these are features you see. You will not walk in a forest very fast. Yes. You'll be moving and some things that will be tying you. Yes. She okay. acted it here and we saw it. This is from the sour zone. This is massive. Yeah. Wow. 
So here, he just tried to explain to us life. You were in a cage. Life is something like if you were in a cage, mm. struggling, everybody's struggling to come out from that cage. You struggle, you struggle, you struggle until you come out from the cage. And then yeah, he was just trying to tell us different connections. He puts on numbers. Assist. Yes. Oh, God. He puts on numbers, tried to explain to us. So he brought, he brought different, different things. And he used, it's an artist who used waste. Yes. Yes, he used waste. Recycling. To him, nothing is useless. Even the empty, the, 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 the containers that we have used, we think nothing can come out yeah. from it. Look at He bring beautiful. it to bring up a walk. This artist just want to display to us how culture is being connected. The 10 regions, it represented the 10 regions through the 10 calabashes, mm. and it connects the 10 regions. Mm. He tried to explain, just as I was telling you that, cotton is from Adamawa, from a north, yes. from the Sawahel. They, they refine it and bring it out for robe. Mm. And then the outcome of the cotton is this cloth. Yes. And then now, the people from the northwest now, they are the contact zone. Mm. The contact zone and they will take it and put it, they dye it, they bring out the dog. And then they well in now, you can see the whole camera is welling in like, a national dressing yeah. outfit is our national outfit, but it did not come from southwest nor northwest. But now it has become as if the whole Camaro, uh, uh, the contact zone is being explained because the northwest now have taken like their own personal, mm. then now sell it to the country, it's become a national outfit. So they just try to say, and then when you sit here and look at yourself in the mirror, mm. like, like as you are looking at yourself in the mirror. Yeah. You see yourself. Beautiful. Yes. Beauty. Yes. Contact zone. What do you see? You see I see beauty. You see beauty, human beauty. being. You see me too. I look my own self and talk. <laughs> and then when you sit in a conference like this, it brings different, different tools. These are thrones from different era. Mm. And it comes. We are still connected to Western thrones. Mm. That's why it's West. So you call all these contact zones. He mm. tried to explain mask. Masks. Different kind of masks. You wear it for beautification, for ceremonies, mm. or contact zone. What is connected? Where you put on the marks, you see as you connect the marks. Yeah. Don't make everything. So everything here is connected through contact zone. Guys, I'll be honest with you, every single time I travel to an African country and I get the opportunity to learn about the histories and cultures of the people of that country, especially from their museums like this, I see how much similar we Africans are. I've seen a lot of similarities between the cultures of Cameroonians and those of um, Congolese and those of Nigerians. So this just gives me the assurance that we Africans, we are very much one people and it helps me to push forward a message of unity that I've been trying to put out there on my channel, that if we see these similarities, we will appreciate ourselves as one people, embrace ourselves, embrace peace, and that way we'll be able to achieve development and progress on our continent, Africa, because we are one people. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog the way I enjoyed learning about the cultures of Cameroonians. If you have, drop a comment. What did you like the most about this tour? I like to know. And if you've not subscribed, remember Remember to click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell, okay? And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Virtue Grace. Thank you guys so much. Share this video while let people see it. I love you guys so much. And behind the camera has been the amazing, the beautiful Victorine. The link to her channel is in the description box down below. Go subscribe and show her love as well. Thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.